this is your love reading. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for January 12th through the 18th. All right, Cancer. So for me as a reader, the overall is always the person that I'm reading for. Now, whether that's you, Cancer, or you cross watcher, whoever's watching this video right now, the overall is the energy that you yourself are taking on this week in love. Everything else is interchangeable. It can be for you or the person or persons that you're dealing with, okay? So from the Gospel of Radio Oracle, your overall, La Luna. Nice, guys. Um, were you doing some full moon shit? I hope so. All right. Here we go. Everything has its cycles. Energy waxes and wanes, so respect the fact that you cannot be at full power all the time. Be grateful for what you have today. Rather than feeling disappointment about what you do not have, set new intentions for what you would like to have. Magic is real and you can use it. Of course, guys. Of course you can. I hope you did. All right. My mother's mother watches over me, her silver light, her sweet power over every stone, every tree. I stand beneath her smiling like millennia of others have. We are joined in birth lines from sisters to brothers on. Oh, that's nice. So we did just have that full moon eclipse. Today is actually the 12th, so two days ago. Hopefully you guys used it. Um, it looks like you did, so good shit. Um, and I think that's just a reminder, just like the Wheel of Fortune, like if you're feeling like kind of shitty right now, just know that it's going to turn around. It always does, you know? All right. You also have the Seven of Wands. This is Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But again, this is the energy you're taking on, so that doesn't really matter. It's just you're kind of letting your walls down, right? You're not feeling as guarded. Um, let's see what that's all about. Hopefully, it's not like you're feeling unsafe or unprotected. I don't think it is, but we'll see. Clarify the Seven of Wands for Cancer. The Nine of Pentacles reversed. Okay, guys, what's up here? Um, Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, the Nine of Pentacles reversed. Either you're in an energy of not wanting to be single anymore, or this is very codependent. So... If you are feeling unsafe or unprotected, um, get out of whatever situation you're in, obviously. If that's not it for you, and this is just kind of codependency, just watch out for that, okay? We don't always notice it when it's happening, um, but just watch out for it. All right. Your recent past, you have justice. This is Libra energy. You could have recently been dealing with a Libra still been dealing still be dealing with a libra don't have to be though um justice is you know it's like everything's in balance everything's fair everything's equal you're getting what you want out of life this is in your recent past so i don't know what happened here that your overalls all jacked up right now but we'll figure it out um it could have been an actual marriage too now you're present though you have the three of pentacles hopefully this isn't a third party situation for you and that's why your energy is all whack um, but Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, this is a, it's an energy of building. It's working together. So I'm not sure what your, what your energy is like that for, but we'll see again. <laughs> Clarify the three of pentacles for cancer. Hopefully it's just that you're letting your walls down and don't want to be single anymore. Hopefully it's not codependent shit, but, uh. Mm, three of Swords reverse. So, Three of Pentacles and the Three of Swords reverse. Guys, damn it. Okay. Um, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Oh, all right. I, I'm just going to have to go with it because I don't like it. But I do think that there's a third party situation here. Um, and I don't know whose part it's on, but I think that it's happening Let's see. The high priestess reverse. Shit. Guys, if you're suspecting something, if you're suspecting that you, if you're in a relationship and you're suspecting your partner of cheating, I'm going to say you're going to have to go with your gut here because it doesn't look good. And I hate this and I hate saying this and I hate readings like this and I'm sorry, but I have to tell you what they say. Um, okay, so... 
It could be someone at their job. You could be dealing with someone at your job outside of your relationship. If you're in one, if you're not even in a relationship whatsoever, watch out for someone around you that is trying to put you in a third party situation. Do not ignore your intuition, guys. Please don't. Above everything else, listen to your intuition. Um, whatever that, you know, that like immediate like spark, that thought that you have about a certain situation or a person that's right that's your intuition your intuition isn't when you're sitting in your room you know stewing for hours and hours being paranoid and crazy over something and i'm not judging i'm absolutely that person sometimes but um that's not your intuition that's just fear-based shit so your intuition is quick Whatever that very first thought is, whatever that very first feeling is, go with that and please do not ignore it. If you think that somebody is fucking around, dude, they fucking are. So check into it and don't let anybody do that shit to you, okay? Wow. All right. Your immediate future. The sun reversed. Again, I'm sorry. Um, it is it is a very unhappy energy it's sadness it's lack of clarity there's some hidden shit you're like foggy you don't know what the hell to do let's see let's clarify the sign now this is in your future um and i don't even like reading for the future because we know it can change in the next 30 seconds it this is just what's going to happen if nothing changes okay you have free will you can change this however the hell you want to and you should by all means rearrange this shit because fuck that three of pentacles yeah too many threes here for there to not be more than one person um it's you don't have clarity on a situation where there is three people involved um and again if it's not you it could be someone that they're working with someone at their job doesn't have to be. It could be involving an earth sign. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Doesn't have to be, but there's some bullshit here. In your potential obstacle, you have the Four of Wands reversed. So, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Again, the signs aren't really relevant, but whatever. If it means something to you, cool. Um, this is my marriage ceremony card, but it's reversed and it's your obstacle. So, Somebody might actually be married. So you might have just found out that somebody is actually in a whole ass fucking marriage or a really serious commitment and you didn't know about it. Um, or because of all of this that's going, that's going on, it's, it's fucking up your commitment. Like you're done and it could actually be an actual marriage. You have justice here with the four of wands reversed. It could be an actual you know, dissolution of a, of a whole marriage because somebody had some other shit going on here. And I do have to throw this out here too. So a third party situation doesn't always have to mean that the person is cheating. I'm going to go ahead and say, yeah, they are. If you're suspecting it, go with it. But it could also be just like outside influences. It doesn't have to be an actual cheating situation. It can be friends, family interfering, whatever, but it's causing serious problems for your relationship if you're in one. If you're not and you're just trying to be with this person, then they're with somebody else and they're just not telling you. All right, let's clarify the four of wands reversed. The moon, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Hidden shit, Pisces energy, if that means anything to you. Somebody is hiding some shit here about a commitment. I'm telling you, a commitment, a relationship, a marriage. Like, you guys have zero clarity in this. You have the moon, you have the sun reversed, and you have the high priestess reversed. There's, like, nothing. Everything is, like, foggy as shit. Please take some time and meditate. Do whatever it is that you need to do to get your mind right where it needs to be so you can see this situation for what it is because it's not... It's not a healthy one, okay? Damn, guys. Oh, your advice, the King of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, doesn't have to mean anything. Um, but I would say that's absolutely what your advice should be. Cut out all the bullshit. Anything that is not real, anything that's not true, anybody that's fucking lying to you, cut them out. 
right? You take that damn sword and you cut them the hell out of your life. This is bullshit. It's not good. <laughs> it's rude. <laughs> you know, um, don't deal with it. Try to use your head a little bit more than your heart in this situation. Okay, guys. Um, and that's, that's what I see happening with the codependency card up there in your overall. It's like when we find ourselves in these situations and we find out some shit about the person that we're dealing with and we still want to stick around, it's because there's some codependency issues in ourselves. And I'm 100% guilty of that in my past. So no judgment here. Um, but the sooner you recognize that and the sooner you cut it out of your life, the healthier you're going to be. Um, so that you can attract another healthy person into your life, okay? All right, let's clarify the King of Swords as advice for cancer. Nine of Cups reversed. Don't put your happiness in another person. Um, you are the only one responsible for your happiness. This is another codependency issue, guys. So it's definitely a theme here. Um, you can't make someone else responsible for your happiness and you can't be responsible for theirs. So don't feel like if you leave this person alone, you're not ever going to be happy. That's absolutely not true. Um, and the sooner you do let go of them, the sooner you are going to be happy. Um, but you have to be happy within yourself before you can be happy with another person always. Um, Damn, guys. All right, so that's all I really have. I mean, that was really straightforward, really shitty. I'm really sorry. Hopefully your next one's better, but man, get rid of this fucking dickhead for real. All right, I'll talk to you later, Cancer.